let me put y'all on game right quick. A quick little lesson, man, that'll save you a lot of time. Um, when you start driving over the road, buy yourself a broom and get some trash bags. You know what I'm saying? Not only for personal use, for but for business as well. Okay, so you want to keep your truck clean, of course. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep your truck clean. But sometimes you'll get to some of these stops and you'll have an empty trailer. And all you're doing is maybe dropping and hooking. You know what I'm saying? They always going to check the trailer. They're going to check the trailer. They're going to ask you, is you empty or loaded? You tell them empty. They're going to want to see if you empty. Make sure you ain't bringing no bullshit in here. So when you open this back door, if you have any type of debris or anything from the last load that you dropped off or picked up, if you have any type of debris in here, they're going to make you clean that out. Because they're not going to take a trailer that has, you know, any type of debris in it or anything. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, as y'all can see, I got a bunch of debris, wood shavings, old seals, piece of cardboard, you know, piece of pallet. They want all that cleaned up before you drop this empty trailer. So, my thing is keep a broom in your truck and, you know, just sweep out the debris. And I ain't talking about like, get out of the little crumbs and shit like that. No, nah, fuck that. Just get, I'm sorry, I don't know you're going. But just get them big chunks like that, them big ass, noticeable ass pieces. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that can stay, I don't know what the fuck that is. But just get these big pieces, the big noticeable pieces. It don't have to be spotless, but they don't want shit like that sitting inside the trailer. You know what I'm saying? So, shit like this. So, I was told. So, you know, the security, where well, the lady at the check-in, she told me, she was like, hey, yeah, we can't take it like that, so go clean it up at the truck stop and then come back and you can pick up your load. But in my eyes, I'm like, I'm not finna drive two miles up the road just to clean out this trailer. And I got a broom and trash bag right here. I could clean it up on site, you know what I'm saying? So I'm finna clean this trailer out. And the crazy thing is, I'm just dropping this trailer off and picking up the empty, uh, loaded one. So I'm finna clean this out real quick and go grab my loaded trailer so I can hit the road because we're going to Arkansas, baby. We right here at Walmart Distribution Center. So they got this little area over here where you can park. So I'm finna clean out this trailer real quick and hurry up and go grab my load. She tripping. All right, see, now we clean, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it don't have to be spotless, my dude. Cause you ain't, that ain't your job to get this motherfucking macaroni spotless. Hell, they, they don't even look way back here. Shit, they, they not looking for that shit. You know what I'm saying? All they want you to do is get them big ass wood shavings. Cause you know them big ass piece of chunks of wood, the forklift will drive over that shit. Sometimes the forklift gets stuck. I don't know that shit, but you see how I did like all them big ass wood shavings, you know what I'm saying? Them chunks of wood and shit. Just pick that shit up. Pick that shit up. And then like little shit like, like if you want to get technical with it, like little shit like this. Hold on, I'm, I'm right here in the living. Little shit like that. If you want to be one of those motherfuckers like that, you know, little shit like that. Get that shit and sweep that shit off the back of the trailer, man. Sweep that shit off the back of the trailer. But I would advise y'all to get one of those janitorial brooms, the real, real big ones. Cause this is my personal room. This for actually for the inside of my truck. But you know what I'm saying? This all I got right now. I was not finna go to no truck stop and get no big ass broom. Get you a little trash bag, put that shit in the trash. So get you some trash bags, get you a broom, and get you some gloves. And sweep that motherfucker out, man. It's windy, y'all, so that motherfucker. Now to think about it, there are some places you can go where you can pay people to uh, clean out the trailer for you. But I mean, something like that, bro, you just do it yourself and go on about your business. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck all that other shit, wasting time and shit and money.
nice little view. I gotta park here because my load isn't ready. I guess where I'm parked at though. Yeah, Walmart with it, Saturday. Oh, we all at Walmart with it, baby. Yeah, we all at Walmart with it. I get to park right at Walmart, Saturday. Okay, so I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I got a load that I'm picking up from here that's going back to uh, Hutchins, Texas. And then I gotta take my 34. But the thing is, the load ain't ready. And it ain't gonna be ready till tomorrow. So it ain't gonna be ready till like tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning I'll go pick it up or whatever. So uh, till then, I just gotta post up and chill. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do. So, we'll hit the road tomorrow. Knock this shit out. Yeah, so we got time to wait. So, I'm about to come in here and give me a few groceries, shout it. A few groceries. Cause we gotta eat and we gotta eat good. <laughs> Thank you.